Jeffrey Epstein faced a maximum of 45 years in prison for the trafficking of girls as young as 14 to his homes for sex. He pleaded not guilty. After being denied bail last month, the 66-year-old had been found unconscious in his cell with marks on his neck and reportedly placed on suicide watch. However, there are conflicting reports as to whether he was on suicide watch when he was found hanged in his New York jail cell early Saturday morning. Epstein worked in finance, reportedly managing other people's fortunes. He presented himself as a billionaire, and he lived an extravagant lifestyle, but the source and extent of his own money is obscure. His social circle was extensive and influential. Documents show former President Bill Clinton, Britain's Prince Andrew, and Donald Trump were all acquaintances. And before he became president, Trump called Epstein a, quote, terrific guy. He likes beautiful women as much as I do, Trump said, though added, quote, many of them are on the younger side. However, since Epstein's arrest, the president has distanced himself. I was not a fan of Jeffrey Epstein. And you watched people yesterday saying that I threw him out of a club. I didn't want anything to do with him. That was many, many years ago. It shows you one thing, that I have good taste. There have long been allegations that he supplied young girls to his circle of influential men, all denied by the men in question. Just on Friday, thousands of documents were unsealed from a legal case against one of his associates that alleged a young girl was forced to have sex with, quote, many powerful men, including numerous prominent American politicians, business executives, foreign presidents, a well-known prime minister and other world leaders, end quote. Epstein was first indicted in 2007 on similar charges that could potentially have led to him spending life in prison. Yet he served only 13 months in a private wing of a county jail in Florida following a plea agreement. Under the terms of that deal, investigations into his activities were ended and the extent of his crimes and who else was involved concealed. The federal prosecutor who negotiated that deal was Alexander Acosta, who subsequently became Donald Trump's Labor Secretary. He resigned following renewed scrutiny of that plea deal. It would be selfish for me to stay in this position and continue talking about a case that's 12 years old rather than about the amazing economy we have right now. Even after Epstein's release as a registered sex offender, he mixed in elite circles. But in July, federal prosecutors ordered his arrest again, his house was searched, and large troves of evidence seized. It's expected that civil proceedings will continue against Epstein's estate, and perhaps the truth of who Epstein was will be settled. Shia Al Jazeera.